Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Scrap Empire. My name is Zach Hayes, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming bout for this UFC fight night. For this week's UFC, UFC fight night, this upcoming Saturday, we're going to be featuring Nathan Manis going up against Tony Gravely. Now, Let's get started with the fight with Tony Gravely and Chris Mantia. Right? It's on UFC Fight Pass. It goes up to 30 minutes. Now, when you look at Tony Gravely's um, body, he looks like a track and field Olympic gold medalist, or he could have played. Or, or you know, he he looks like. Uh, I mean, he 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 is uh, known for wrestling. But he looks like a strong wrestler. All of his muscles are defined, and again, no exaggeration, no type of no no exaggeration, nor any type of sarcasm is practiced on my channel. By. None of that stuff is practice on my channel. This is just how I see it, and I'm speaking with, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely serious with, with every word that comes out of my mouth. So look at Tony Gravely. You know he 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 looks very very athletic, and like like it, it isn't like his upper body is uh, strong. But his low, like he, like, like, but his lower body, you know, skinny. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, because you have guys like Deontay Wilder, they have like a, uh, you know, huge upper body, but like they have like a like a slim waist and very slim legs, very thin, 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 thin legs, which doesn't mean anything, you know, right? Deontay Wilder is probably the hardest puncher in heavyweight in in, in heavyweight history, from how I see it. But again, that's another conversation. So Tony Gravely, right? During the fight with him, with him and Chris, the whole entire, the whole throughout all, throughout all of the rounds up until he um, technically knocked him out, or, or or you know someone like to say when when the when, when the referee had to stop the fight, you're right, Tony Gravely. Moving Chris around the ground, constantly pound him, constantly pound him, constantly pound him, right? And was able to have him, and was able to have him, was able to control the ground position for a very, very, very long time. All right, that's what I like about Tony Gravely. You know, if you listen to the commentary, you know he's a wrestler. Right, he his he he he's been in numerous amount of wrestling competitions throughout his entire life. And just looking at the way, just observing his movements, I can tell that he was taught wrestling from the time he was a little kid. He just has the foundation, and he's very in tune with the with the foundation of wrestling. Not to say that he can't stand up, but his wrestling foundation is on point. Right, and Chris, you know, again, strength doesn't, looks don't mean anything when it comes to strength, but again, from a perception standpoint, it just look, it looks like, I, again, that's why I always say from a superficial aesthetic standpoint, from what I'm able to see, from what I'm able to see and what my UFC Fight Pass subscribers are able to see and my Scrap Empire YouTube subscribers are also able to see. It looks, it, it looked like that he was just... Not necessarily dominating, but he was winning throughout all of the rounds because dominating mean, could be interpreted as disrespect. So I'd rather say winning. He was winning all of the rounds, right? He took advantage of strength. He took advantage of his wrestling expertise and utilized that to get the victory against Chris. Now, let's get started with Nathan Manis, right? Now, me watching the fight with him and Johnny Munoz, Munoz again, UFC bypass, look it up. 
I don't mean that in an aggressive way. I hope like, that didn't sound like too aggressive. Sorry if anyone you know took that as aggressive. Cause my channel isn't about having an aggressive delivery. But Johnny Munoz knows how to throw kicks, and he was throwing plenty of kicks throughout the first round, and he successfully executed his kicks. But Nathan Manis and Nathan Manis, on the other hand, knows. Well, at least does a pretty, or at least does a good job from what I was able to see. And again, I observe very, very, very carefully, and I take a lot of time to create my judgments. He knows how to create great offense when he's near the cage, right? So you have somebody who's willing to go toe to toe with you and strike him, but just say, you know what? Let me take it to the cage to bring you into my world. I liked how he was able to strip away Johnny Munoz's offense because in the first round, he threw plenty of great kicks. And the kicks, they didn't look sloppy. They didn't look like, you know, it, 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 it didn't look like, you know, just regular kicks. They, they, the kicks hey, that Johnny Munoz were throwing were, 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 were kicks filled with intensity, you know, and those kicks are trying to take you out. Just hear the snap when you watch the first round. But, you know, when you watch the second round or you watch the third round, I think you're going to see, like, ground strikes, like, you know, amount of strikes near the cage. You'll see that Nathan Manis has, like, triple amount more strikes compared to um, Johnny Munoz, right? And, again, that's when you need to learn how to not fight your opponent's fight, but to fight your fight. And, but I was, and eventually Nathan Manis kept on with his game plan throughout all the rounds, and was able to win. But I didn't expect him to win unanimously. I did see Shawnee Munoz winning that first round. All right. Just because he had more of an offensive impact. From a superficial aesthetic standpoint. Just because I, I'm just observing really carefully. He just threw more kicks. He was, he was just more active. I feel like they could have gave Nathan Manners... Um, Majority decision or even a split decision, but to say that he won unanimously, I didn't agree with that. But again, hey, these judges saw it the way how they saw it, so more most more respect to them, right? Now, I gave you an analysis of Nathan Manis and Johnny Munoz. Also, gave you an analysis of Tony Gravely when he went up when he went up against Chris up there, all right. Now, Tony Gravely has the NFL physique, right? But I don't think his strength is going to allow him to win. Let me get into detail. Nathan Manners isn't a pushover when it comes to the ground. Knows how to fight on the ground. He knows how to you know, fight when he's near the cage. So, I'm going to give this fight prediction to Tony Gravely, only because he's his he has a wrestling expertise. But it isn't going to be easy. And he's going to have to fight for the victory, only because Nathan Manis isn't a pushover, and he's coming to adjust and adapt and fight at you know, and fight. With whatever you give, at, with whatever you give, give at him. So Tony Gravely, you, I see you winning this fight, but again, you have to earn it because if you don't come in, if you don't come, if you're not coming into the fight to earn it, then Nathan Manners might surprise all of us. So Scrap Empire, YouTube subscribes. I'm saying Tony Gravely is going to win the fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan Manners wins. Only because he is a pushover, and he's coming to fight with every fight that he he's coming he's coming with he's fighting with passion with every fight. So yeah, Nathan Manners proved me wrong. Prove to the whole world that the underdog isn't going to succumb to the loss. You know, the underdog isn't going to isn't going to succumb to 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 the top to to the top dog. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrap Empire. Thank you all for watching my content. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel.
Please, please leave any constructive criticism or feedback that you think will allow me to help, to help elevate my channel as well, guys. Thank you all so much for watching my content. Thank you. Bye-bye.